Hello everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome to another video on machine learning and data science terminology. In this video, we look into what is random state. For beginners, random state looks a bit confusing and, um, and, and, and actually it's a pretty straightforward um, concept. So random state is used in many different places. Wherever you have randomness being involved in any of the methods or techniques we use in machine learning, a random state pops up. So let's start with the first uh, use of random state when you're splitting the data, right? Typically when you have, uh, you know, when you're doing a machine learning modeling, so we split the data, if you have, uh, let's say, uh, a thousand records. So usually we split the data, this is your X variables and this is your target variable into 70, 30 or something near to the ratios. 70% data we use for the training and 30% data we use for the testing or evaluation. Okay, so the data is actually split like 700 records and 300 records and we call this as X train and this as a Y train, sorry, Y train and this data is we call it as X test and Y test. Okay, eventually we train the model, we fit the model or train the model by using X train and Y train. Then we use the train model and we predict the, we pass on the X test and what we got, what we get is called as Y predict. And eventually we know Y predict, so we know Y test, which is the actual value of this testing. And now we have predicted Y by using the model, which we just trained with the training data. By comparing these two things, we can get some accuracy or you know, auto score based on we can we can evaluate the model okay so that's how uh, we do a, a machine learning modeling so what is this random state here before we split this data into 70 30 percent we shuffle the data for of course various reasons one of the main reason is there is some kind of bias in the data uh, uh, you know if you don't if you don't shuffle it then you're training the data with the different kinds of uh, you know bias data the, 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 the data at the top has certain kind of uh, bias uh, take a simple example of house price prediction. You might have all these smaller apartments, uh, you know, in, 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 in the top, and as it goes down, you have larger apartments. So if you try to fit a model or you know, split a split a data, 70, 30 without shuffling, you're trading the model with the smaller apartments, and you're trying to predict for the larger apartments, which of course will give you a poor accuracy. So shuffling the data will will basically eliminate any biases in the data. So when you shuffle it, let me take a very simple example of 10 records. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I'm going to split the data into 70, 30, which means 7 record goes to the training. And this is the training part. And this is the testing part. So I'm going to shuffle it. So when I shuffle it, uh, you know, basically random shuffling. You can have any kind of data coming in. Let's say 2, 5, 7, 9, 6, Two, one. Oh, sorry. Two is already used. Three and uh, four. So what is left? One, ten, and maybe eight. Because it's random, you can have any different states. So it can also have something like five, eight, six. Just randomly putting numbers. Ten, three, two, uh, four. You have seven. You have nine left. Um, one, and then. What else is left? Nine, one, one, two. Two is there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is left. You can also have other state like nine, one, eight, six, ten, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you have uh, seven, five, and okay, one, two. So likewise, there are probably how many different states? It's a permutation combination. So if you if you look at uh, uh, so we are basically out of this ten, I'm taking three here, which is also equal to ten C seven. If you remember the formula for combination, which is uh, N C R, which is nothing but n factorial divided by 
n factorial divided by r factorial in this case it is 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial into 3 factorial if you do the math you get about 1 you get actually 120 so if you randomly shuffle these 10 records there is 120 different states possible so there is 120 different ways you can actually rearrange this data into 7 and 3 records so uh, every every state can be given a number for example this is zero state this is one this is two likewise we have 120 different states we have 120 different states your random state in this case this is actually your random state so you fix one of the state as a random state let's say if i give a random state of let's say uh, 2 or 0 so i'm going to i'm going to say my random state while splitting is actually 2 so what happens is it simply uh, fixes this particular order so these numbers will come into training and these record numbers will come into testing and whenever you run the model any time in any number of times these training and testing data uh, the data records will will not change you always get this 9 1 8 6 10 3 4 as a training data records and 752 records as your testing records which is really helpful because when you're actually doing a machine learning tuning for example let's say um, uh, i'm just gonna create a blank one a kernel error it's too many files apart okay just Okay. Okay, that's good enough. Let me see if I can refresh this. Yes. So I'm going to import um, from sklearn. I'm going to import one of the functions we use for model selection is a sub package we use train test plate, which is a very helpful function for splitting the data into training and testing uh, training and testing so if you look at the train test plate <coughs> you have a random state you pass on x and y and then you say a random state is equal to let's say 2 so when you provide this random state is equal to 2 what happens is it ensures that only those records as given over here will stay in training and other ones are actually in testing so um so that's the random state and the benefit of setting it up so you know that your randomness is not affecting the accuracy of the model rather that you are you are you are fine tuning and other techniques you're following because if you don't fix this every time you run the model you get a slightly different accuracy so you don't know whether this accuracy is because of your random state changing or is because of the some of the techniques you apply to find the algorithms so it is um, yeah it is actually kind of very important to fix a random state so that you don't have different efficiency when you run different times uh, uh, which is affected by your uh, the state of the randomness okay so that's your random state when you're doing the train test plate or splitting the data into training and testing there is another one which we use in algorithms for example random forest if you take a random forest algorithm or any algorithm which uses a, some kind of randomness you do have a random state over there in this random state is slightly different it talks about what is the the, the randomness of picking features because random state if you have a, a lot of features like 15 features random forest algorithm picks up certain features let's say four at a time to build uh, you know its own tree called estimators so the picking of this four or five features from this pool of features the entire features is random that's why it's called as random forest algorithm okay in the case of random forest algorithm the random state actually defines which random state you know the, the, the when you say random state if the random state is equal to two or zero there will be certain features being picked up for this estimator and this estimator and this estimator that will remain same when you fix the random state in random forest 
the, the, the what the features in individual estimators will remain same thereby you can actually you can actually in this case you can actually control if you change the random state the features here will change and thereby you might land up getting slightly higher accuracy when you fine tune the random state correct so to summarize random state means separate things in the separate uh, different things in a different context in in terms of uh, you know splitting of your data random state is just a giving a state where you have certain records in your training and certain records in your testing. In the case of algorithms, wherever there is a randomness, right, the random state just defines a particular state, thereby uh, there is no variation happening in it. So when you run the algorithm again, the same kind of state has been applied so that you know for sure that the, that the deviations of your accuracy is not coming from the random states. Okay, so that explains random states. If you have any further questions in this, please leave me a comment. I shall try to explain in more details. Thank you very much. And if you like this channel, please subscribe and click notification. And I'll see you in the next video.